No. Why? Uh, good afternoon, everyone. We're about we're, we're about at the home stretch here for our uh, function today, and we have a Zero Priestly Carter scholarship that we want to present today. This is a very special scholarship for several reasons. They're, they're special every year. The ZPC scholarship is special every year. This particular year, however, we have the first recipient of the ZPC scholarship, who is now, yes, yeah, in 2004. Dr. Kanae Sullivan, 2003, she received the first ZPC scholarship. So we, want, we, we, we want to acknowledge that. And, and uh, this makes it a very historical moment. <laughs> yes. It's always historical, but especially today she's come back to serve. This is the epitome of paying it forward, uh, which is which is the moniker that we adopted when we first started our uh, scholarship uh, fundraising over the last year and a half or so. And we did fairly well. We did fairly well. I can't give you an exact number, but I know we have exceeded our goal. Our goal was only 10,000. We raised 26,000 more at this point. So, 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 so we, 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 we've done okay. We can always do better. So don't forget to donate. 
Now, if Dr. Woodard was here, he would be already passing the pain. He taught me how to do that pretty good on that for years. But you guys, most of you here, are very regular with your contributions to the ZPC scholarship, and we wanted to we want to thank you for that. Uh, but today, again, we have the first recipient is now the committee chair, and we have Ms. Lou Porter, who's going to also help present. Ms. Porter, over the last few years, in case you didn't know, she's one of the top go-getters in the community that will go out on behalf of CPC and solicit donations. And you, I'm letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> in case you didn't know, you know, we, we, we know some of the same people, so there's a, 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 a type of approach that I'm sure she uses to uh, solicit, solicit those funds, and it works. Mm -hmm. It works. It's worked the last few years. She's done a really good job with that. We want to continue to encourage her to do that. <laughs> so we, we, we've got some significant contributions this year. Uh, we don't divulge any names, but one of the top contributions Ms. Porter helped to bring in this year was $4,000, one of the top contributions. So let everyone know that. Today, we have Ms. Liera Carter, right? I can't say enough about Liara. She, if you guys have not seen the Our Story documentary that was produced by Arnell Hill, that was produced by Arnell Hill, the former historian for UEAAA, you've got to see this documentary. And it's, it's going to be made more accessible in the very, very near future. The library has already uh, signed a licensing agreement where I get to show it in the class that I teach here at U of E now. So I, I use it there, and then I use it in, in, in other places. So we're going to continue to explore how to access that license agreement. It should be viewed everywhere, in the museum, and access on WNIN. But we're, we're in talks to make that happen. It's an excellent documentary. And we're putting something similar together that's going to take a few more semesters with on the contemporary history of African American uh, at, at U of E, as well as the African American Alumni Association, with the African American some Alumni Association being the primary uh, uh, focus of that. But Lear was the narrator for no words stumbled over or nothing. She was the narrator throughout the documentary for our story, and she has earned her keep as we present her with her second. Third. <laughs> third. That's all we're going to be third. This is her third ZPC scholarship, which is a renewable scholarship. Uh, Ms. Porter, I'll allow you and, and Dr. Sullivan to do the honor and say what you would like to say. Congratulations. What an honor. Three times? Yeah. You go, girl. Mm -hmm. That's very important. It's an honor yeah. to stand before you today because this organization is very important. Um, I got involved with U of E when I was at the bank, and at that time, banks didn't want to do very much with uh, colleges and universities. They gave you a very minimum amount. So me and the way I talk, sometimes fast, sometimes slow, but I get my medicine across. <laughs> and they start getting it. So I said, you know what, if I can get it through uh, entities, I can get it through individuals. So God blessed me to meet someone that was very grudging giving. And anytime I need any extra money or double money, I call this individual and I have no forms. Just how much you need? You get to squirm and you know, like if you're gonna go ask for a thousand dollars or twenty-five hundred or ten thousand dollars. So I would go in the middle, fifty. <laughs> 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 he had to laugh on that. But it's such an honor and we congratulate you today on going to get your um, certificate. Just so 
little nobody will be in bewilderment whatsoever. There were one. There were six other recipients of the ZPC scholarship today um, that, that did not make it to the award ceremony, obviously. Uh, Lear was the sole recipient that, that made it here today. And there were several, well, let me give not several, I'm going to give you an exact number. There were 19 graduating seniors that should have been here today as well. Brian just gave a lecture on how to leave. It, that, this lecture kind of makes the chickens come home to roost. <laughs> hey, you know, these students, uh, there's, there's no real reason why, I don't know, there might be a real reason why they not here today, but still, we appreciate them, and we're going to let them know, and we're going to get the scholarships in their hands. In the meantime, we have one that has showed, so he gets to go through the penance ceremony today, because he is a senior, graduating with an accounting degree. And next month, he is 31 years old, he's an ex-Marine, and he's our new delegate to represent us on the Main Street Alum Alumni Committee, and that's Cameron Durr. <laughs> he said he would award soon. I, I, I got an award at King Day this year. I got the Major Legacy Award. I had no idea I was going to get an award. I was in my blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> but I was, hey, all the same, that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll do it like this, my man. Okay? You're, you're extra official now. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> you. Yeah, no, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I had no idea this was, this was happening today. Um, Mr. Watte has been a mentor to me for a long time, a long, long time. He saw me way to the Marine Corps and was always kept me positive. And um, I thank him for hooking me up with the UE um, AAA and showing me what's going on. And I'm learning a whole lot, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate everything. And right now, I am currently um, employed at Barry Global as an internal auditor. And um, it's an internship right now. Um, but in a couple weeks, I'm going to find out they're going to offer me a full time job. So I'm hoping for that. Um, I'll be coming back to school over the summer to try to get my finance degree so I can achieve my 150 credit, credit hours and for my CPA. Thank you. So, hey, he's one of many seniors that will be graduating and certainly going on to do great things in the very, very near future. Starting right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's doing great things. Um, thank everyone for coming out today. You know, once again, we can't thank Brian enough for that presentation. Yeah. How he can be functioning. That, that, that was outstanding. We've got you on film, and we're going to be using that, okay? There are some people that need to see that, you know? Uh, there are a lot of people that need to see it. And you did a great job presenting that, and we're going to get as much traction out of it as possible. And I hope some of the other leaders in the room, uh, Sarita and you guys, say, hey, uh, young people, we have a leadership uh, video we like we to watch today. And you have to take it. Uh, you right okay. Hey, but uh, all right, they already asked, and uh, I know you're going to work it well. And make them take notes. I do hate to take notes. I love to make them make. I love to make them take notes. <laughs> you know, but make them take notes. We were all students once. Some of us still are. And uh, I noticed the air was taking some very copious notes in there today. You want to publish those for us? Well, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah, you was taking. I, I was checking it out. I, I like note taking and. Uh, 
You can't get out of class. You can't be successful unless you're taking note of what's going on. So, uh, Brian, thank you so very much for that. You know, we really appreciate it. We appreciate everybody that, that traveled from afar to come here today. Uh, I met some, met some, not just made my acquaintance with them, but now I certainly know who they are because Sister Titwell was my mentor. <laughs> So we have in the back, would you mind coming up, my friend, sir? Would you mind coming up for one moment, please? Because he's a 1980 grad. There's not a lot of us are here today, so we can make good use of our time. Right? We get real personal with this thing. <laughs> we, we get real personal with this because there's not a lot of us here today. This is Terry Moore, 1980, and his wife, her mother, was my mentor, who the first person that encouraged me to study the Bible. So. Okay, I'm on the spot. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I've been back, and it's been good to get reconnected. Um, when I was a student here, I was on the radio station and did the radio show for three years. Started my uh, actually January of '77, so it's been a while ago. And this year, I am formally retiring from radio. Um, Put in 46 years, 43 years in the night. So, uh, my wife beat me about two years to retire, so, <laughs> but that's been good. So, yeah, it, the foundation, a lot of people ask because, you know, being from Cincinnati, why did you go to Evansville? Mm -hmm. And I tell them, well, two reasons to find my wife and to find my career. <laughs> so, it's been a great, uh, it's been a great ride, and it all started here. So. This organization has been very, very important for me, and we've been, you know, donating to the scholarship fund ever since it started because I know how much this university meant to what I've been doing, and I want to see that continue with students who continue to come here and, and have this great opportunity. So, thank you for the work that you're doing, and for everyone that's uh, connected to the university and to this program. And for you, brother. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that, hey, we never know who's in our midst, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. No, thank you very much for that, brother. We we'll certainly appreciate that. Uh, Jaleesa, how did the alumni meeting go today? I knew you were going to call It's just like class. <laughs> Like that's the thing. It's like when you don't mind aging, 
you don't age. <laughs> oh, you don't age. No, it's 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 the thing where they tell you not to think about something, and the fact that they tell you not to means that you're going to think about it, which means that you're going. Yeah, it's that whole thing. Right? Um, yeah, I, I graduated in '03. Um, came from Miami. Uh, I was born in Jamaica. So it, it was kind of a trek, you know. Born in Jamaica, born and raised in Miami, and then came here. And to be honest, I came and I saw. I took the uh, the road trip um, thing that they do, where they bring students in and you get to see the school. And it was. I was destined to go some somewhere else. I got a full ride at a, another prestigious school. Blah blah blah. And uh, I was bent on going. And then I came here and I saw the school and met the people. And to be honest, it was a large part of the people and the actual show I saw changed my mind like within one day. So, yeah. I feel Damien Thompson. Oh <laughs> three. <laughs> 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 I won't put anybody else on the spot, I promise. But tonight, what time does the award ceremony start, Barry? There's a cocktail hour at 5 o'clock. at 5, and the dinner's at 6. Okay, set at 5 in Ridgeway. Yeah. Dinner's at 6. 6 30. 6 30. Okay. So, that's about all I have. Does anyone else have anything, Ms. Burke? I'd just like to remind those people that are visiting here in the city, don't leave Evansville today without going by the Evans Black and American Museum at 579 South Darwin Street. Thank you and very much. And the founder of the museum is the UE alumni, Sandra Matthews. On that note, we have a couple of cards we're going to pass out. Ms. Matthews has one, and Ms. Porter has one. We'll get that done right now before we get out of here. Um, I'm glad you brought up the museum because someone else told me to tell everyone that if you're looking for something to do this evening, anyone that participated here today gets into Seven Mile Free tonight. Seven Mile, which is the lounge uh, downtown that's operated by the McDonald's. Seven Mile, named after the historic Seven Mile stretch in, D in Detroit, right? Yeah. yeah. So, yes. Um, <laughs> all right. So we, so I did, well, I'm glad I got that announced because that, that is, that is uh, for anyone later on this evening that, that might want something to do, you can, get, you can do that. Cameron, you hand these out for me, please. Yes, sir. You and Liara, how about that? Got a young legs in the room. <laughs> <laughs> the graduates, you're good as well. She's out right here. So, these, I won't read these, they can get no reading, I'm sure, but Ms. Porter and Ms. Matthews, because they were early on in this process today, you know, early on in registering and all that good stuff, uh, had a little something for you, just a second, one second. Why do you do that? Can I say something real quickly? Please, good time. I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't. Yes. I, I was just thinking. So um, I, I guess I didn't explain um, or I guess say why I'm here, right? Um, okay. So I, uh, I'm an actor by, by trade. I um, graduated from UET, went on. I still do acting, right? Um, I taught here in 2021 for a semester. Um, a, a teacher had a show on broad, Broadway and asked me to cover it. It just kind of fit, and I came. And then Abigail Whirling, who was the head of FDM Advancement, um, basically called me in her office and was like, hey, you know, I feel like 
we love your energy and your love for the school, and we're like, we'd, we'd, we'd hate to lose you. And I was like, well, I'm not living in Evansville, so. <laughs> I, I love it here. I love it here, but you can't, I mean, you can't really be, a, be an actor here. So I was like, I, I, yeah, I can't. And so like, she reached out to me like, uh, a couple months after and basically created this remote position where I work based in New York City. And I, I take care of the East Coast alums and donors and friends of the university. And you know, taking people out to like dinners and lunches and speaking about the school and at some point being like, hey, this is a thing that we're working on if you'd like to help fund it or come back and share your time or does your program have any internships at your work? You know, something that brings the kids that, we're, that we have now in the future help them to grow and you know, have opportunities when they need. Um, and I, I just wanted to share one of the scholarships that I'm working on, and I um, got a donor on it uh, that gave a, a pretty good thing to get me started, so it's great. But it's a global, um, it's a, um, let me think of the name, sorry. I think it's a global award scholarship. <laughs> Basically, what the award is for is um, there's a scholars program, and I think you, you, you guys know the UE scholars. It's for African American and Latin students. Um, basically, they have to come in with, with a certain GPA and all of that stuff. But yeah, and so the, but they get a full rock, which is great. And and we know that you know like the study abroad art extent thing. You take a semester and you. And you what most people don't factor in is that as a student, you know, when I went to school, I just, I did work study, and that was my thing, was like working on campus. But a lot of students have to work off campus as well, you know. Um, and so when they, when they study abroad, that's oftentimes the, the part that people don't think. It's like, yeah, they get the full ride tuition that they have here, they get the room and board that they have here, but what about, the extra money that they use to actually survive, right? Because they can't work. And so um, you've gotten this program that if you are a scholar, you immediately get help to like plane tickets. When you get there, the whole point of you going there is to be able to travel and see a little bit of the world so you can get some experience. And so that's the initiative for the award. Um, and also, if you are not a scholar, um, any um, student of color or that is underrepresented, whatever that is, um, race, gender, ethnicity, blah, 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 um, that they also, and you, and you have need, that they also give you that op opportunity. So I just wanted to share, to share, to share that because I think it's something that is of interest and also ties into this group. And, and they reached that group money very well. I'm sorry. How would one of those things? Yeah, it's, it's through the, the financial aid. And also, the um, Dr. Uh, Shelby um, is, is uh, who's over the um, sorry diversity, the d diversity and inclusion. Um, he helps to facilitate, you know, the, the needs, like to find the students and like all that kind of stuff and connect. So if you know anyone, you know, if you know people that would like to donate or even students that are here, because a lot of times like the information is what is missing, right? Yep. So if you know a student that is in need that wants to travel to Harleston, like mm -hmm. don't make it be a, an issue of finance. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. well, very good. Oh. Thank you, Danny. That, that's mm -hmm. very important information. Mm -hmm. uh, I, been hearing about the politics and experience from students, and it's a wonderful international experience for them. And for that one that needs help, there, 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 there are the resources. Thank you for informing us on that. It's very, very important that uh, possibility, because if everybody needs students all the time, that you can have a voice in helping to select a needy student to participate in the politics experience. So, yeah, thank you. Um, that's about all I have. Is, any, does, is everybody good? Mm -hmm. no? Well, we have one last thing to do. It's traditional. 
How many people, if somebody can tell me what that is, I'll give you a prize. What is it? Yes. Yeah. You gotta take a picture up here. See? Hey, spoke this one. See that? <laughs> Yeah, no problem. I'm 